Along with the development of 5G services, the peak bandwidth of carriers' 5G base stations will increase to 10 GB per second, and the bandwidth of the access rings on the transport network will reach 26 GB per second. The current bandwidth of 10 GE and 25 GE interfaces is insufficient, and 100 GE interfaces are too costly to support mass applications at the access layer. Therefore, the 50 GE interface solution is developed to meet bandwidth requirements of the access layer on 5G networks. In most cases, traditional digital signals are transmitted in non-return to zero NRC format. NRC encoding uses two signal levels, where the binary low and high states are represented by zero and one. One bit of logic information can be transmitted during each symbol period. However, with the development of science and technology, demands for low costs continue to increase, leaving traditional NRZ digital signals unable to meet requirements. Pulse Amplitude Modulation PAM, is a popular signal transmission technology used for high-speed signal interconnection among next-generation data centers. PAM4 encoding uses four signal levels to represent the 0, 1, 2, and 3 information of the digital logic signal. Two bits of the logic information can be transmitted during each symbol period. Therefore, to achieve the same signal transmission capabilities, PAM4 signals need to only reach a symbol rate half that of NRZ signals, reducing both transmission loss and costs. The core technology of 50GE is PAM4. 50GE is forecast to be the next generation Ethernet rates standard due to the high price performance ratio of 50GE interface technology in the 5G transport field. Details of the high price performance ratio are shown as follows. First, mature standards. The 50GE standard inheriting the key technologies of 200GE and 400GE was initiated in March 2016. The technical solution was finalized in November 2017, and the 50GE standard will be officially released in 2018. Second, mature optical modules. The 50GE module adopts single wavelength technology and does not require an optical multiplexer. The optical module has a small size, low cost, low power consumption, and is easy to manufacture. Mainstream chip vendors have already developed PAM4 chips for the 50GE optical module while most of other components can easily be obtained from the 25GE optical layer industry chain. Third, mature conditions for commercial deployment. The Huawei 50GE line card was the first to pass the functionality and performance tests of the China Mobile Research Institute in September 2017. In addition, it passed the rigorous test of the European Advanced Networking Test Center, EANTC. In March 2018, Huawei Ethernet Alliance and industry partners completed systematic interoperability testing based on 50GE technology at the 43rd Optical Fiber Communication Conference and Exhibition, OFC. The testing results demonstrated that the line card was capable of line rate forwarding at 50 Gbit per second while maintaining a transmission range of 40 km. This met the application requirements on the access layer of 5G transport networks. Currently, 50 GE technology is being used by Zhejiang Mobile, Shanghai Mobile, and Shanghai Telecom, and has successfully achieved multi-vendor interoperability. This indicates that the 50GE industry chain has matured and has commercial capabilities, paving the way for 5G commercialization. Looking to the future, we believe that the 50GE standard riding on the development of 5G services will bring Ethernet technology into a new, brighter era. Thank you for watching. Bye!